What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA. So, today is just a continuation of my melanin hair care journey. Um, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I'm gonna put the links down below and I show you how I apply the products, um, how I twist my hair, how I untwist my hair, and all that. So, if you haven't seen those, check those out and then you could come on back to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I put my hair up at night, and then also how I get myself, you know, together and look like a person, okay? Good morning! Good morning, everyone. So it is day two of my melanin hair care twist out. And I just wanted to, you know, show you guys on live footage what I look like when I wake up and how I zhuzh up the curls. I was gonna retie my hair, but I feel like that would have taken away the dramatics of it all. And you know, we family, you know, we, what, five videos in, y'all know me. I'm just, you know, gonna come to you like it is. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, yeah, so I'm gonna take my scarf off and I'm gonna just style my hair, I guess. So, let's see what I look like under here. So, oh, and I also sleep on a satin pillowcase because there's no guaranteeing what will happen while I'm sleeping, okay? As you can see, my edges is all out, and you know, if I was rubbing up against that good old cotton, I would have no more edges, okay? And let me take off this bonnet. Okay, and this isn't the bonnet I usually use. I have a brown bonnet that is smaller, that keeps my curls like a little tighter, but I can find it, so. All right, and I use just shake. Mmm, smells so good. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is what I'm working with this morning. Got some disformed curls. It's okay. All right, so if I was leaving the house, I would just kind of, you know, go like this. Um, another style I could do is, so we got a little frizz. I think that's from when I was taking my hair down though. I was rushing, so I wasn't taking my time. And the middle wasn't dry. It's dry now though. It feels good. It feels really good. All right, so say, this is another thing you could do. So you see, you're just kind of rolled up the side. And then, listen, I style my hair with anything that will let me. So these are the little crocodile clips. And I'll just put it, I don't know if you can see this. Put it in there. And then before I move my hand, I'll put a crocodile clip a little closer to my hand so that my hair doesn't fall down. And then voila, you got yourself a little sideways updo. All right, here we go. There's this one curl in the front that is like divergent. Yeah, so I don't like my hair in my face, so I just kind of like, I kind of, I, it's almost like I'm shifting the curls back. So like this one, it's all hanging down. So I'll kind of take up this and put it back there so it can stay back, you know? Yeah, but. This is me. If I was, let me see what happens if I separate these curls.
And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like, I'm pulling one tendril and I rub my hand on it and then I feel for where the space is and then I separate. So like here, I got this piece of hair and then I rub my finger and then you see that? And then I separate there. That's what they say, that's what they mean when they say separate it where it naturally wants to separate. And they, I mean, like, you know, be blind to. So I rub my finger through it and then I separate. All right, so next time I, what I'll probably do is, I'll probably do my parts differently. Um, Cause I don't like the way that this is falling in my face. Let me see if I can just put this on the other side. Um, if that will help me. I'm gonna take this down. Oop, I almost lost one. Yeah, I could just put this over here. Yeah. I haven't done a twist out in a long time, so I couldn't remember how to part my hair. And it's like watching any videos to figure it out. But if your hair, I think if your hair is, um, probably the front of your hair is shorter than mine, then the way I parted my hair would work for you. But because the front of my hair is a little longer than everywhere else, um, sure was falling in my face. I don't like that. I don't like the lance. So I'm just separating. This looks better over here. I'll just endure. I'll endure. So separating it, it gives it a different look, I think. Like, I feel like now it looks like a fluffy twist out. Whereas before, it was like a super defined. Don't touch my curls or else you get cut. What y'all think? This, this, this don't bother me. Behind the ear you go. What happened here? Looks like my curl is bent. Let me see if I... If I separate it, it'll be nice to me. Okay. All right, so that's as much separating as you're gonna get from Mawa. But um, this is cute. I'm very pleased. And my hair even, okay. Y'all know how it is when you do a twist out and your hair isn't dry yet. And like the next day or even later in the day your hair feels dry um, and not in like the wet or dry but in like the um, like unmoisturized kind of like, you know, like just ugh. But my hair doesn't feel like that. Like the middle, like I said yesterday, it wasn't like 100% dry, um, but that it feels good. It honestly does. And when I touch my hair, I'm, you know, I feel there's like a little bit of um, oil that comes off of my hands, but it isn't anything that is like it's not super oily you know like my hands aren't you can see my hands aren't super shiny and like ugh. like i think i'll get better at explaining things <laughs> but yeah so i'm happy with my purchase i am yes next time i'll definitely part my hair differently but she's cute damn so yes Shout out to the Melanin Hair Care. Um, I thought there should be like a hashtag, I have been melanated. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so when I have, um, sometimes how I put my hair up at night depends on my mood, okay? Other times, like if I'm worried about the back of my hair getting stretched out, then I might not, then I, that can be a determining factor. So, um, so let me see. How would I wrap this? So, 
This, I'm just putting the bonnet on like regular, okay? Uh, I'm taking it from behind my ears because I find that's most comfortable. And then I take my scarf. Y'all, this scarf, my mother let me borrow this scarf. I think I came home from college and she let me borrow it and never give it back. What is this like, six years later? <laughs> Okay, and then I take it Ugh. and I leave the back out and I take the um, these underneath and you kind of want it to be low like on your forehead so that, you know, it goes round. And then uh, tie this. Doo -doo -doo. All right, and then I take the back, okay? And then I take it to one side, it doesn't matter the side. Um, and I twirl it around, and then I bring it to the other side and tuck it, okay? And so I do this because um, it helps my curls to be compact when I'm sleeping. Um, and then, like I said, it also, um, Helps. Since my hair is um, shorter in the back, it helps the back not to be um, all stretched out and look strange, okay? So, yeah. That's the first way. And that's what I did to preserve this twist out. Alrighty. And yeah, you shake. Shake, 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 Chanel around. So this next way I mostly use when my hair is stretched out or when I have a wash and go. Wash and go after your hair dries, it's mostly set. Like it's not going nowhere. A twist out, I think it's easier to, um, to have complications. <laughs> All right, so I put my head down. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this and stay in focus. So head down. Put this bonnet on and then I kind of like scoop the hair so it's all like laying on top of my head. I don't know if this is a good example, good demonstration. And I usually use my, I have like a, um, a smaller bonnet that I can get my hair to be like tighter and more compact, but I can't find it. So we're going to do what it do, work with what we got. So the, you're left with a bonnet on top of your head, okay? And then... I take my scarf, turn it around, and then, and then I push the bonnet back so that the scarf doesn't end up making an indentation on my hair, okay? And then, as you can see, this is still loose, and I just tie it in the back. And then I take this guy and I just find a home for it. I usually tuck, tuck it under one side, bring it to the other side, and then tuck it under. And then voila. I wear my hair like this to bed the, the most, okay? It's up and it's out of the way. Um, if my scarf decides to fall off while I'm sleeping, this will probably happen. But my hair is still, you know, in here, in this little cocoon and protected. Okay, and then when I'm ready in the morning, I just take this down, take my scarf off, my hair usually goes like this, and of course a shape. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, and then you know you just kind of play with your hair, and kind of like you have to play with it to wake it up. Like you know, your hair needs coffee too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes when you do that, especially if your hair is longer, the front can be um, kind of like bent or like smushed. I find what helps is like, um, I style my hair and then on the way to work, I just put my bonnet over and that, that just kind of helps to smooth my hair out um, and calms the front down a bit. Yeah, so. Next time I do a wash and go, I'll see if I can show you guys an example. Um, but this is what we're working with. 
Yes, sir. And I always sleep on a satin pillowcase, even with all of this stuff. Um, if I'm super tired and I don't care what my hair looks like, I'm gonna wear it in a puff anyways, I'll just sleep on the satin pillowcase and have my hair up. Um, if I'm real sleepy, you know, I don't care at all, I'll be on the satin pillowcase like this. Um, but it just depends on what you want to happen the next day. Like you have to be, I don't wanna say, fis it's not fiscally responsible. You wanna be curlifically responsible, okay? And if you know that tomorrow you have somewhere to go and you don't have the time to do your hair or mess with your hair, then you gotta make the proper preparations, you know? And get your life together, put that scarf on, stop playing, don't be lazy. <laughs> Re retwist that hair. If you, if you know that's what you need in your life, don't be lazy. Cause then you're gonna be mad and you're gonna be late for work. But that's enough of our commercial. <laughs> Let's get back to our scheduled programming. All right guys, so that's it. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you push that notification bell because you never know what day, what hour I'm gonna upload a video. You know, I'm still trying to figure out my schedule, um, but I am filming, I am editing, and so you guys wanna be, you know, the first to know when I post a video, so smash that button, y'all. Um, and let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of my results. If you guys have any requests for videos, um, any, you know, products you want me to try, I got you. As long as the coins is right, okay? And that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm sending y'all peace, love, and good vibes. Ooh. Black girl magic. Oh, black girl magic. <laughs> yes, this is the third day I'm wearing this shirt. I got plenty of time for a selfie. You gotta find your light. Go with me. Go with me. It's your birthday. Hey, hey.